Right, so today um, we're going to talk about another skill, uh, which doesn't seem like a skill, uh, and that is sort of primitivism, if you like. Um, so it's sort of lack of technical wizardry. Um, this is one of the sort of anomaly things that I mentioned much earlier on. A lot of the great guitar players who sort of really changed the course of musical history weren't really that technical. So you can look at players like Muddy Waters and John Lee Hooker, uh, even people like Johnny Cash, a lot of songwriters. Um, they don't come across as being technically, well, like virtuosos, put it that way. And yet, of course, when we think about becoming musicians and artists, there's a sort of drive towards the technical aspect of something, like an academic perspective, because again, that's how we're wired up to think within the educational system. And it's obviously not true. If you look at the type of record sales that somebody like, you know, uh, Eric Clapton got, now you've got to, okay, he's accomplished, but in comparison to somebody like Steve Vai, for instance, you know, it's a completely different angle, isn't it? So if you look at the sort of, sort of recording sales, etc., of people like that and Mark Knopfler and one of you, they completely outstrip the sort of um, virtuoso style players. And then, if you then look at um, the uh, the impact that somebody like Muddy Waters had, um, Johnny Cash, as I mentioned, their influence is massive compared to somebody who we look at as some sort of virtuoso player. The other interesting thing is, as people get on in their playing, their playing often becomes more sim simplified in that there might not be so many notes in the playing. So good examples of that, B.B. King, if you listen to early B.B. King recordings, there's a, he's a lot busier than he became later. And even to some extent Jeff Beck, although I'm not saying his playing is easy, but um, there's a sort of clarity and simplicity in what they're playing. So ponder this because it's really the reverse of a lot of the ideas that most people do when they sit here. So there's a sort of a, a sort of a, an optim, optimistic note that although you know you've got to put in the time, the 10,000 hours if you like, but it doesn't have to be chasing that elusive perfection um, yeah, it is an illusion, yeah. Um, because remember, there isn't such a thing as perfection. That's an attitude thing. Right, contemplate that, and um, we'll be back next time with something else that maybe turns, turns things around a little bit on their head. Speak to you then.